Hello and welcome to another update video about Quant QNT. Um, my view is still unchanged that the move up here was an impulse. One, two, three, four, five. We're coming down in a so-called A, B, C pattern. And um, yeah, looking at this, I want to I wanna talk about a few things um, that are very, very relevant. Okay, so we've come down obviously in this A, B, C. Yeah, we had the A wave down, the B wave was a triangle and the C wave down. That's certainly um, a count that I can go with. That's sort of my, my count at the moment here. And I still have no evidence that a low is in, even though we have reached the target area. This is the broader reversal area. I always have to say, even though we've got a head and shoulders here and we've got a triangle, which would suggest further downside, don't be surprised if it suddenly goes up because we currently see Bitcoin Ethereum go up and we are we have completed the minimum requirements of this move down by entering this area and also by completing five waves down. There are always different interpretations how we can count this bit. Um, my interpretation is due to the choppy nature of it, it should come down further. Yeah, because it looks like an ending diagonal. And if I count this as an ending diagonal, I'm counting the subwaves as ABCs. So I've got five waves in wave five, one, two, three still in the making, four and five. Yeah, so I'm still looking at, on, at more downside here. I have no evidence that it's over. I could consider that, um, I could consider a more bullish option if we get a breakout above $118, but really we won't get confirmation until we break above $132, $133. But there are certain levels that will be relevant and it's all up, you know, how, you know, it's again, it's all up to you how much confirmation are you happy with because there is no absolute certainty in these markets. But what I can tell you is that if we get above the 126.60 level, that is the 78.6% retracement, that would already be a good indication that the, there is not going to be any more downside and that we are on track to going higher, possibly into the, yeah, you know, sort of 380 to $400 range. Um, that would be, again, a good confirmation the first level of confirmation would be a break above the 50% retracement. That is in addition to that, the B wave high around $118. Yeah, so we're talking about a sustained break above that, not a fake out, a sustained break. So you move above it and you retest. Um, but yeah, these are sort of the, the key levels that really matter in the short term. Um, at the moment, I also cannot really see an impulse yet to the upside. So at the moment, we're also still here on the four hour chart making lower highs. So there is currently no evidence. I mean, yeah, we're making higher lows here, but it's not really an impulsive structure I'm seeing here at the moment. Um, surely you can interpret that possibly as a one, two here, one, two. Yeah, but what, what would this be? I mean, this would be another one, two setup. So again, it's not very, it's not very reliable, um, especially as also here. Um, let's see. So we've got obviously this kind of trend like a bit of a channel going on here. I mean, it's all a question of, you know, what time frame are you interested in? What time frame are you you're trading in? I wouldn't even consider the breakout of that small channel as relevant. So let's just take that out. I think, you know, the probably the very, very first signal you would get is a break above the triangle, but it's a very early signal that a low might be in. Um, by the way, I'm going to take that wedge pattern out. That's not relevant anymore. That did break down as it was anticipated. Um, but yeah, the levels I just gave you are, are relevant. And <clears throat> I will still believe that we are going to go down further, probably until, until we get above that 78.6% retrace I told you about. Above 118, I will, however, take the bullish scenario more, more seriously. Um, I mean, this is generally a bullish scenario for quant, but I'm talking here about, I'm going to take the short term bullish scenario more likely and that we are not going to come down anymore. But until then, my primary scenario remains that we've come down in a wave one, moved up in a two. This is the A, B pattern in the wave three, and we should now be coming down in a wave three, in a C wave. Here in the C wave, we've got a wave one down and a wave two up. Three would follow, four, five, and so on. And we would move down lower, but this would be the C wave of three. Then there should be a, a wave four and a wave five, also in an A, B, C. So I'm still looking at lower here. No change really at the moment. So. There is obviously the assumption that this is the wave two, ABC. I just need to make you aware of something that's always possible, that this is obviously um, a scenario where I can also, I can count this, all of this, 
yeah, as an A wave as well. So it could be, and this is just a possibility, and therefore I want to make you aware of it, that all of this was just an A wave, and when we go up and break above all these levels, this is just the B wave, and we are going to come down once more in C. Um, that is not too unlikely given the length and the extent of the move up that we get a more extended correction. Therefore, when we finally go up, I will be very closely observing this area up here between the 50% retracement at 161, oops, roundabout at 161, and the 78.6 retrace at $200. Yeah, because it could very well be that this is just a B wave. The B wave would most likely, however, not get above the 78.6 retrace. So as soon as we get above $200, we have additional confidence and confirmation that we are on track for wave three. So that, yeah, just that you know that, um, therefore, you know, moving up stop losses can be so helpful and mo so important. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's where we are at the moment with Quant. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.